Welcome to the Awesome Bad Movie Club. It's Jason, Mr. O, and Mr. Y, and today we watched Jonah Hex. Jonah Hex is the story of a uh, ornery old cowboy type guy that watched his family be brutally murdered in front of him. Just, he's on a vengeance mission. Essentially, what we are here to decide today, gentlemen, is, is Jonah Hex a good movie or is Jonah Hex a bad movie? Jonah Hex is a very good movie. You're getting an over-the-top comic book movie with little to no reverence for the character's previous incarnations in comic books. Wife and family dies, he goes out murdering people. I mean, what more do you need in a movie? It is very, like, punisher -y. Like yeah. a, like a Like a Wild West Punisher. It does have that cookie-cutter plot to it. The casting is a little strange. You got Will Arnett for some reason. You got Megan Fox with literally nothing to do. John Malkovich phoning it in. Josh Brolin just kind of mumbling through every single one of his lines. Now, Michael albeit, Fassbender? What was he doing? John Malkovich, the bad guy here, what was his endgame? He wanted to flatten continents, and he had the perfect weapon to do so, that he stole off a train, and that he assembled himself onto a ship, and then sailed that ship to the capital. I feel like this movie and Wild Wild West could have dovetailed. As uh, stuff. All this movie's missing is a giant mechanical spider. It, 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 there is that overlap of like uh, Victorian tech. Well, see, can we talk about the the weird glowy cannonballs? So the outside six were to shoot these huge lead balls. Now, when they landed, they did absolutely nothing. And you might feel like that was a waste. Why did we put all this together? Until they had the orange glowing balls. Pretty orange balls. And when that hits the ground, for some reason, the lead balls ignite like they are napalm in the H-bomb wrapped into one, and Malkovich has that power. And he was going to take over and destroy this country. But then where is he gonna live? He's just fully motivated by vengeance as well. It's really two guys did, trying to watch the world burn. What did Jonah Hex do to him? Killed his kid. Yeah, he said he killed his kid. Jeff. But did we see that? You didn't see him killing him, but that's who we dug up in the graveyard. Oh, oh I he... thought he killed a little kid. No. Oh. Jeff was a full-grown man. He, he was. A, he, they were soldiers together. Oh, then Jonah's almost innocent then. Jonah Hex had to kill him to stop him from burning down a hospital. Despite so... missing that, I still enjoyed this movie. <laughs> <laughs> the supernatural elements of this movie did confuse me a bit. Jonah Hex can talk to the dead in this movie by touching them. Similar to Pushing Daisies, a classic television show. Uh, in Jonah Hex, though, it is it is used in much more a disturbing manner, where if he holds onto them too long, they turn to dust. And, and Unless he it, puts dirt on them. Like, yeah. Dead like dirt. Dead like dirt. Dirt like dead. Yeah. Dirt likes dead. Dead likes dirt. Simple as that. So Michael Fassbender, Jonah Hex fights him. Jonah kills him and then touches him to bring him back to life. And then you see him start burning and burning. And then Jonah, the only time in the movie Mr. Hex winds back and just turns into dust. I, I, I don't know what you call that superpower, but he's got it. I mean, that was pretty cool. Yeah, it was a sweet own for sure. But the whole fight scene before that was pretty laughable. I didn't say this movie was perfect beginning to end. There are there are some flaws, but overall, this is not a bad movie. John Malkovich Turnbull, I believe, is the one responsible for the the, the brutal killing of his family as well as the Well, he's not totally responsible face. for the way that Jonah Hex looks, because Jonah Hex also did that to himself. He doesn't Fair dare to have you know. the quick time logo on his face <laughs> anymore. Jonah is such a man. He heated up an axe to a temperature that probably would not melt butter and carved that brand off his face. And then for some reason, sealed his lips together in a weird stringy thing that then proved how much he loved Megan Fox because he did not drool on her when she was all nuzzled up inside him. Do you think he did that just because it looked cool? It would look more intimidating? So he was like, I want that little... I mean, that's why I would do it. Why didn't anybody just cut that piece off? He'd probably kill you. I, I don't feel like his powers were explained at all. 
Is he undead? Would you consider Jonah Hex undead? I don't think he's undead. I think he just knows about the undead. I, so he, he, and I think there's been some Native American interference. Oh, the Native Americans definitely kept him alive. He, but, without them, the Hex would be would be done for. But those scenes just come and go with no explanation. Yeah, yeah he had the bullet holes. They dumped stuff on it, and then somehow you see like an eyeball in his mouth, and a crow flew away, and then he was like, cool shot. Re that was really cool shot. He yeah. was just like riding the horse. The whole movie is preposterous. I can't sit here and let somebody sully this movie. It is not bad. His wife and family who were murdered were Native American. I feel that the Native Americans who come to help him are clearly his in-laws. Every once in a while they come by, he's dying on the ground. They pick him up and, and bring him back to life. Yeah, it would have been nice if the movie had told us any of that at all. You all can kind of think of a better story than this movie. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Do you hate this movie so much, Mr. Y? He's he's no good. He's a dirtbag. Okay, yeah, he had some bad things happen to him in his life. Haven't we all? But he's dragging, like, dead bodies in through the street. He had a head and a double bag. What kind of man he, cuts he, another man's head off? He was a bounty hunter, and the gentleman, if I remember correctly, was too large to drag. And now I don't so need he did it. Head off? I, I'm not gonna say it was right. But he did what he had to do for that $100. He also blew a guy away in a bar because he was like, what's up with your face? A little harsh here. Jonah Hex uh, is not a good guy. I Hey, I never claimed he was a good guy. He does have a horse named Horse, and he was really good to that dog. Okay. But he was a soldier. Uh, there was a lot of soldiers back then. Right. And back when? In the Civil War? Yeah. Hmm. I think that's what What side of that war was he on? Uh, he is he, he is he is a Confederate soldier. Yeah. I the I, good guys or the bad guys? They they were not you good. Red, white, and blue. I, and the I, great state of Pennsylvania. Confederates did a lot of damage in this state. I mean, it, it is established when he goes to his arms dealer, he flat out says, "I don't like the government." And then his arms dealer's like, "Yeah, but why did you fight for the Confederates?" And ultimately, Joan is like. I don't care, I just don't want the government to tell me what to do! I, I may have missed that. Jonah Hex is a lawless bastard. And he's a piece of s in my book. I can't defend the Confederacy. Uh, uh, draped, draped in our nation's colors, I can't. I can't defend. I can't defend the Confederacy. <laughs> We're declaring that Jonah Hex is officially a bad movie. Yeah. Points to Mr. Y. You fought valiantly, Mr. O, and I think you made some some compelling arguments. He but didn't draw on her head. At the end of the day, though, he's a Confederate. He's an unrepentant Confederate, still wearing the Ding Dang uniform on the poster. On the, it's everywhere. That seems like a misstep by by uh, uh, DC and Warner Brothers as a whole. Yeah, he screwed up. Uh, Maybe that's why this movie didn't do so hot. What do you all think? Is Jonah Hex a bad movie? Let us know in the comments down below. And check out the other videos that the Awfully Bad Movie Club has made. And uh, we'll see you next time to figure out if a movie's good or if a movie's bad. Thanks for watching. God, you are such an ass.